<laughs> what is going on, everybody? It's Treep. From Treep Talks. Here. Hi, my name's Colton. <laughs> Film <Filming> for <laughs> Treep Talks today. <laughs> we're we're going to switch to a NPR podcast <laughs> format. <Not> ASMR only. <laughs> ASMR. I keep saying uh, NPR. <laughs> damn it. ASMR. But anyway, we are here for episode 15, the 15th anniversary of the Crew Cats. 15 episodes strong, and just like for a majority of the episodes, you got the OG3 in the building. Colge, what's up, my guy? What's up, dude? My name's Colton, and I was thinking today that, um, so I walked into your YouTube room about like five minutes ago, Yeah. and there is one, four... Five coins on your ground, right? And I was looking at the dates, and every single one of these, 71 cents altogether, every single one of these is older than all of us. Each coin is older than all of us, and that just kind of blows my mind. You know I just what? think this, this one quarter says 1970. It was manufactured in 1970. My dad wasn't even born yet. Yeah, my dad was one year old. It, I don't know why, well, but that just like <clears throat> amazes me that this quarter, who knows who's had this quarter. Right, it's been through the ringer. It's been it's, through everything. And it's probably been on my ground now for a good amount of time, too, to be yeah. honest. But you know what blows my mind today that I was thinking? I went and I stopped by and I got a coil from one stop today and I was talking to Jag. And it just blows my mind how now to buy cigarettes, you only have to be born in 2001. Yeah, that's nuts. Doesn't that just blow your mind? 18-year-olds were born in 2001. Yep, that's prime. (laughs) (laughs) That's the way Colts likes them. Speaking of youngins, we got Larry Fitz in the building. Larry, how you doing? Oh, you know. Just doing as good as I can. Are you still mourning? No. No. We're ready. No, you're ready. We're just ready for a dub. Yeah? Bangles, you get to get spanked. I mean, you got to do it for Bidwell. Right? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't win for Bidwell, then why even play for the rest of the yeah. season? This well, is the game. This is the game point. that you should win, the game that you have to win. And, and it's have, like, okay, so, okay, we got the Bengals, then we have the Falcons. Eh, I don't is, hate it. Which, yeah. I don't the Giants, it. I don't hate it. But you have to win the first one to roll. Yeah, you got to get so, momentum to start going. Yeah, so. You need gas to start the bus. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I feel with the Jags. That's why I was I was glad if Gardner Minshew did not beat the Titans on Thursday Night Football, we wouldn't be near as excited as we are right now. Well, yeah, but we, the Titans have been kind of your kryptonite, and he just kind of came in and was like, "Nah, dude, he won, he won Rookie of the Month." Shouts out yeah. to Gardner Minshew, the NFL. Rookie of the month, the sixth round draft pick, the journeyman in college from went to Washington State in Pullman, Washington, right down the way. Play. We right met him down the we way. Met him. We met him. We took a picture with him. Like he's a cool dude. I don't think there's anybody in like besides Blake Bortles. And you see, that's why I will never bash Blake Bortles because I was a huge proponent of Blake Bortles, but. I don't think, like, I'm not mourning Bortles as much anymore because I've just learned to love Gardner so freaking well, much. Because that Bortles sucked so bad. You weren't okay, even really that bad here, when you guys got rid of him. I, I knew it was coming, though. Here's the yeah. thing that I think this just shows how much Treves, like, loved Bortles, too, is Bortles loves Bud Light. And I still put up yeah. with it. There's only two people in my lifetime that I have put up with that like Bud Light. And they are two iconic individuals. One is, of course, Blake Bortles, and the other is Post Malone. Speaking of Post Malone, oh, I'm going to at the Bengals per right now. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to at the Bengals. The local high school <laughs> newspaper. Shouts out to the Bengals per. They've been running for, like, over 100 years. They yeah, got, they got literally. Ar- they got archives on our, archives. Our school was literally made, the high school was built, in 1928. Yeah. <laughs> We're due for a new Well, and the, the, one of the cool things about this edition of the Bengals Purr, if you guys want a copy, comment down below. I'll ship them to you. 
You're going to have to pay a shipping fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll ship them to you. But the coolest thing I thought was on the back is they had the original newspaper clipping from the Tribune of when they opened up that high school in 1928. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that's cool. That's It was so badass, dude. So oh. they're doing a good job. Yeah, that's they're doing cool. a great job, man. They look like they have a good staff. But the entertainment editor. I already talked to the teacher because she's the one that sent it to me. And she's one of my, you know... Well, my people. She's one of my influencers. One of your all-time faves. One of my all-time faves. So I had to tell her. I was like, your entertainment editor's doing a good job because he's got me heated. <laughs> he rated Hollywood's Bleeding, Post Malone's new album, a 2 out of 10. Now, first of all. Anything Post Malone deserves 8 out of 10 or more. When you listen to a Post Malone album... It sets the bar at 8, and it doesn't go any lower than that. It only goes higher. What? Yeah. It doesn't go any lower than that. His average work is an 8. That album was terrific. The features were unreal. He hated on the Ozzy Osbourne oh my. and the Post okay. Malone really? collaboration. That's my favorite song. Dude, it I is, love it. That thing is so... That song's dude, so good. Almost er, he made this song so it could be on the radio, I feel like, because almost every single song he has on that album plays on like just the regular radio. The thing is, is that... It's nuts. It's, it's weird, because you don't know if this is the Post Malone that Post Malone actually wants to be. Because, like, I feel like he's a smart businessman. Yeah. He has the look to be famous. Oh, 100%. And he has the sound that can get him on the radio with every single song he makes. And then he's so, got the personality. So why back? Why try to make your stuff more gritty and uncut when you can make the music that you make now and every song will be on the radio, you get royalty checks from the radio, you're just getting in all this money. He has to be one of the world's most rich people right now. Dude, I was thinking that's I love crazy the that you that say you that. Guys posted about Post Malone, the chick in the audience. Oh, with the Gardner bitch. Yeah, it's a Gardner bitch. Sure. Oh, dude, that, that, that meme hilarious. is iconic right now. It's crazy. I was thinking about like the richest people in the world. Totally off track, kind of. But I was thinking like Ninja, the uh, the oh, old yeah. Twitch streamer. Yeah. He signed that deal. Uh, I think we already talked about it on our other podcast. It was like ten years, a hundred million dollars. Yeah. Then he has deals with Red Bull, Adidas. Dude, that guy is richer than... Gl- I don't know, dude. Than he's most rich. professional athletes. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He's making 10 mil a year from whatever... What what streaming service it, even is it? Is it Twitch? Twitch? Hulu? No, no. He signed with the other one. That oh, was the yeah, big thing. I can't remember. I don't, he I don't signed with remember. someone else. Yeah, but then he has all of his other deals and, you know, all the donations he gets. He's so rich. Dude, you, this Dude, is... I don't know. I'll look it up because... This is why we need to go live on the podcast. We need the super chats. Make sure you donate to the Patreon account. That's patreon.com forward slash Treat Talks and donate today. Please donate. Donate to Treat Talks. I'm thinking, like, honestly, next Thursday we should just go into... Like my office at work and just record it at work. And just have it, just have it like sound all high quality and whatnot. Cause I mean, fuck it. Get some. Get so some we're getting quality. high quality camera shots for the weekly pickups. Yeah, from and then we're getting camera. a high quality audio takes for Thursday. Oh, it was mixer. Oh, mixer. He, that's he switched what it over was. to yep. mixer, mixer because yeah. he was talking about it in a stream a few months prior that like. Someone would have to offer him a stupid amount of money to, you know, only stream on this one website exclusively live, you know, every day for 12 hours. Yeah. It's nuts how much well, money he makes. Well, when uh, Jay Steezy picked me up today, yeah, or yes, yesterday, we were talking, and he uh, said Ninja was streaming before he left his house mm-hmm. to set the record for most wins in a row, and he tied it when he left his house. So I wonder if he beat that. Oh, I'm sure he did. Dude, oh, yeah. I think it's like 45 or something. In a row? Then. Yeah. Dude, that's nuts. That's nuts. I, I he's ha- such he's so, so good at Fortnite. He's good at all games. I mean, he started on like, I mean, just Halo on the Xbox. I've ran back like two wins in a row, and that feels so great. Like, yeah. Think about running 40 of them. Yeah. <laughs> just, just like, there's nothing. There's nothing. Thou. 
Nothing Next just one. running a solo. Yeah. See, I would never have any chance of doing that in like mm-hmm. Fortnite. But like when I'd win like two Madden games in a row, yeah. like that's You're that's that yourself. momentum, oh, yeah. dude. I used to brag about win streaks. Win streaks is yeah. like what you want, <laughs> dude. Madden. When you're playing online, you need you just need to get. I I off. love rolling with like a draft champs team going six deep for I, the championship. I do that too. used to be the best on Madden sixteen. That used to be what we spent all summer nights doing before oh, we dude. grew up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we had Madden tournaments and oh, we just do stuff. All the, so we have a Madden, Madden champ. We'd have like, Madden tournaments. We'd have the Madden champs. Yeah, I remember. Have you really talked about the Madden champ? Ever? No. So like uh. Yeah, that's 10th or 11th grade, uh, me and Jameson were in a class called Manufacturing, and I made, it was a nice piece of, like, oak wood, and, like, I engraved, you know, Madden Champ, and, you know, on it, and, like, you Beautiful. know, I, I stained it, and I, like, painted the, uh, lettering. the lettering red, and it said Madden Champ, and it looked really nice, and it was kind of like a belt, you know, we held it, we brought it over every time we hung out. You know, if someone wants to challenge that person, yeah. you get to challenge them for the title. The That's twenty four seven freaking challenges. All yeah, that bit. so essentially twenty four seven rules. What we would yeah. do is we'd have tourneys. You Whoever know. won the tourney, they'd be the champ, and, and then you got that belt. And then if you just hang out and whatever, yeah. just one day we'd sit down and play. Mm-hmm. Whoever calls you out, you're you if gotta you lose, play. You lose. If you win, you win. Yeah, and we've all had it. At yeah. least once. Yeah. I've had it a few times. Jameson's had it the most. Yeah, of course. I think it's still, like, it's lost now. We yeah. don't know where it's lost. at. Lost. Yeah. I think it's at Jameson's mom's. It could be an organ with Arturo. Arturo. I have a Ooh. feeling Arturo has it. You know, this Ooh. is like... I think he's got in a duffel bag under his bed in <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> this is one of uh, one of many conspiracies. Yeah, is the is the Madden the Madden champ? That's just totally gone. Like, mm, yeah, because I know Arturo used to like to steal it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that used yeah. he used to like to steal everything. Y'all uh, like to steal dude, everything. Treve Treve had this <laughs> this uh, hair comb in the tenth grade. It's like, oh, it used to be my dad's. It used to be his great 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 grandfather's. <laughs> what and... about the stuffed animal barn stole? That was more <laughs> Bailey's thing, yeah. and, and, and like, and barn blew it way out of proportion, and we were all just like, he made like, a, right. like he oh, made like, a, <laughs> yeah, he made a like Facebook what? account for it, yeah. and put it, put it, <laughs> and put it in this like. Uh, what you put like in a homemade coffin or something yeah. like that? He spent a lot of time. Who even d- d- does Bailey still have that thing? Uh, it has to be like either long gone or in storage. Yeah, huh? That's I mean, funny. I couldn't even imagine. But Barnage definitely went the effort for that. I'm trying to think of other crew spiracies that we'd have. Oh, uh, dude, there's all kinds. I'm just like, I don't know. I can't we, think of any like right off the top of my head. But. We've we've had some times though where we've we've been like, what the fuck? Like, how did this happen, dude? You remember? You remember one of one of my favorite memories was when we there was like ten of us hanging out one night, and we just decided to go to Camelot and play football. Oh my god! Oh and yeah, in the it middle. It was Cameron and uh, Chad Beam. Chad Chad, Chad, was, Chad was yeah. there. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And this was around the time when uh, the whole clown thing was a big thing. People yeah, were getting yeah, chased by yeah. random people that dress up as clowns. Uh-huh. And we were playing, like, right in the middle, like, half concrete, half <laughs> grass. Yeah, grass. like, right in the middle right? like, of all the schools. Yeah, it's like Camelot had, like, four different buildings. It was yeah. dead smack in the middle. And we're playing. These people just drive up right next to us. And it rolls down his window in the There's back like of his truck. Clown masks. There's like three clowns in the back seat, and then like we start chasing after them. They freaking they just drove off. They drove off. Yeah, then we just continued playing. Our yeah, game. I thought for sure they were gonna get out and try to do some tomfoolery. Yeah, I, I wasn't down for no tomfoolery. <laughs> <laughs> that was freaky. I, I, dude, we've had like, like when we play football, like there's. There's gonna be guaranteed a couple of sketchies. Yeah, we've had sketchy. We the guy with the the bowling ball. Oh yeah, that one's oh, sketchy. Man. You remember when those little kids were there and they tried playing? They're all shitheads, and we kept on thinking they're gonna steal all of our shit. Yeah, 
That was that was stupid. Yeah. Oh yeah. So there's this guy that used to play with us. And uh, he's just some random older guy. He'd come play quarterback, come play, you know, whatever. We, we were in, like, the ninth grade. Yeah, we didn't yeah. really care. And then he, like, went away for a long time. And we realized that he was arrested because he tried to he tried to rob a local bank. And he said that he had a bomb, but it was just a bowling ball in a bowling bag. Yeah. And he went to jail for a while. And I get, and then, like, the first oh, week he was out. Yeah, the first yeah week I forgot out, about came, that. He came over. Yeah, and the first week he was out he came over try to play and then like someone was cracking jokes about oh, how chase. Was, it was chase yeah, oh cheap she <laughs> was cracking <laughs> jokes about saying something's the bomb yeah. and this and that he, okay shout oh you want to okay. go bowling or yeah. shout, <laughs> shout, shout out to chase Taj on this one he said <laughs> he said hey uh, no we're, we don't want to play we got the numbers right now but we can go bowling later. <laughs> I didn't even, when he first said that, I didn't even get it until I heard everybody laughing. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, dude, that's, that's too much. Yeah, that was, I, that's dangerous on that one, but he said it. It was hilarious. That's why I like Chase, dude. He doesn't give a single fuck about anything. No, he doesn't. Dude. I seen him at work. He's so two legendary. Days ago, two days ago, and then freaking, he was in the kitchen, and and my other friend Matt, freaking the long yeah. hair, you know, yeah. in the band, he was working there, and and I, he's like Chase is back there too, and I'm like Chief, and he goes Big Child, <laughs> <laughs> and then he just freaking comes up to me, and I'm like, dude, fucking, I love Chief's Chief. Aw- dude, I I go way back with Chief. Same here, dude. I went to well, probably not like as close as you, but like I've known Chase yeah, for a long time. Our our dads are. We're always really good friends, and we used to hang out when we were, like, little or kids. He used to be crazy. Wild. He used to bully Trey back in the day. Oh, did he really? Yeah. <laughs> I just everyone. remember the first day Chief got the job there, and, like, yeah. me and you were there. And yeah, he's just, like, literally just the first doing day. tables, like, right next to us, not even noticing it's me and him sitting yeah. there. We are just like, Chief. He's like, almost. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> and, like, the fact that he just never breaks character no, is so... Never. It's genuine. <laughs> like, uh, it's who, do, who do I always say is the most true to their character? Leighton. Leighton. Leighton has to be. <laughs> dude, but Chase is up there. Yeah. Chase uh, is up there, dude. Or He's... Cameron. Cameron's Cameron. Oh, that's who I always say. Cameron's definitely true to his character. Dude, yeah. Cheeb is awesome. I freaking... He's so underrated. He is underrated. I, ha- I, saw, I saw a video when... Not today, but when I was looking through a lot of my old pictures, it was... He, he was playing Weem in Street 2 at my house. <laughs> yeah, nice. And... Just his laugh was so contagious. It's it, just like the weirdest little funniest laugh ever. It's I, hilarious. I gotta tell Cheap to check this out because freaking it's basically become a cheap loving podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean like that whole subsection of the crew because like yeah. I mean basically it's like We just have like a whole nother group that we we're, have always been around. Yeah. yeah. It's like we're, we're just broken in. We're basically like the population of like Potlatch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're all just in a sub community. They're squad in our crew. Yeah. You know, and freaking, they, they'll know Fuki Buki. I'm sure Fuki Buki. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Fuki will click on it. He'll be there on Sunday. Uh-huh. Probably hammered by 10 a.m. Well, yeah. That's why, that's why I'm trying to, I kind of do want another ride. To, well, get to, yeah, we'll to get to there because fucking Big Weem is either going to be thirty minutes late or he's going to be hammered. <laughs> <laughs> and either way, I think about getting drunk. I have some beers in my fridge. I might bring them over, dude. I mean, <laughs> everybody's drinking brews, man. Dude, good old Coors Light. That's the one of the best beers ever. It depends if the Jags win or not. <laughs> that one's going to be a game. I it feel is, like it is. I'm gonna have to be set up somewhere. Me and Big Weem. Well, yeah, we're probably gonna... out out in the living room. We're yeah, and then me and Lady are in your room. Oh yeah, y'all are playing Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck it, is it's gonna... Luigi coming over too? Dude, yeah, it's yeah. Gonna be a... it's just... <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't even know Luigi was coming. <laughs> dude, it's a party. Okay, Luigi. Dude, we're going right. live. Okay. We're well, going I'm live. Not, I'm we're not, not cooking going food live. for you guys, but we can get what? pizza. I'll order oh, pizza. Okay, okay. I'll order one pizza. I'll I'll pitch into. I get. I you get, know, we, big game always brings over pizza when he comes over. To yeah, that's for like true. the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Ro- dude, Royal and you know, Steezy will be there, dude. It's gonna be like 
Your parents are going to love it. The whole damn no, thing. My mom's going to be out of the house. It's going to be a freaking family <laughs> barbecue out there. We're gonna my dad's going to gonna be your... like, God damn. We're gonna... Your dad's going to be out there in his tiny whitey as we're all yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna have to watch it in the shop. Someone's gonna have, someone's gonna have to watch it in Brick and Kelly's room. How many uh, direct TV boxes do you yeah, have? Four. Oh, perfect. My room, Wyatt's room, your parents', parents room, room, living room. That's easy. yeah, that's four. That's four easy. Yeah. Easy well, piece. I mean, you guys are gonna be set up in the main. Yeah. Then we might well. as well take one out and to I, the shop. When is your your games at ten? Ten. So is yours. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah. All the games are at 10. Dude, all the good ones are at When's 10. I think mine's one? at 1. Yeah, no Perfect. shit. Yours are always at 1. It's your West hey. Coast. Yeah, it's going to be a good old time. It's going to be the Phillips homestead. No, yeah. no. Mine's at 1. Folks. Oh. Nice. I mean, no, mine's at 10. Oh, oh no! What? what? Yeah. Who are you playing? The Bengals. Uh, oh, that's what, that's in what. Cincinnati, huh? Yeah. Fuck. How are we gonna do? Who's gonna be in Kelly's room? Well, when, okay. Well, then who else is gonna be there? Well, fuck. Well, oh I mean, well, we Jamie's can. He's gonna be there. He's not gonna really. We want, can chill. Really we can do. Me and Weem could do Wyatt's room if he wants because the Colts don't play till Sunday night. True. Yeah. Or and if he doesn't want to do it in his room, it can take it out in the shop. Yeah. Dude, we're this... fine. We'll be gold. We'll go. We got. We got to set we it up. We'll, we, we'll, we'll take them up. all in well, because, to the living no, room. No, because after a while, it's like there's only a couple games that are actually the main focus. Yeah. And then like like Jamie and Barn, they're he's his Monday, and yeah. Jamie doesn't care. Yeah. Jamie's team is playing right now. Yeah. Uh, as we speak, yeah. Kinda. It's more of an Alex Collins guy. Yeah. He's yeah, Alex Collins, playing. but he likes the Rams and the Seahawks, doesn't yeah, he? That's true. This is the best game of the year for him at this point. Yeah. Any score updates on that one, boys? It's 14 to 6, Seattle. Yeah. 14 to 6, Seattle. So. Currently. DK Metcalf caught a 40 yard touchdown. Really? Yeah. I do not have him in fantasy. DK's been fun, though. Yeah. He caught a beast touchdown against Pittsburgh, dude. I'm glad, dude. Oh this, my gosh! This, what's up? Cooper Cup caught a good pass, but then uh, Gurley fumbled. Oh, no. and Clowney picked it up. Uh, no, scored? of course, no. dude. I've always wanted to do a fantasy league where I have a defensive player. Did we talk yeah, about that like, every year? We never do it. That but, would be so cool. Okay, but the I've thing never, with the can defensive, you, can you do that on ESPN? I think so. Probably. Or is that only NFL? It might just be Yahoo. I don't know. No, I think you could do it on ESPN. But the thing with that is, though, it's like it's linebackers. Like that's the ones that are scoring the most points. That's it. Like it, like sacks don't matter as much. It's just linebackers. Well, can, of is there a league where you can do just defensive players? That would be crazy. I that, wish. That, I feel like just I feel kickers. like you could probably do it. You can probably set it up. There's definitely a way you can set up just kickers. There can't be like no way. Anybody, no one's ever thought of that. There has to just be. Kick, well, there's only 32, so how many oh, teams dude, can... That was badass. Like... Clowney, like, ripped it out of uh, his own teammate's hand to get the recovery. Ooh, <laughs> David's a dog. Dude. He is a dog, dude. Dude, I was going... I was that out. pick was dirty on Kyler Murray last week. I was yeah, out. I was it out. was dirty. I was out on lunch today with my dog, Hunter, who's a Rams Are we recording? Fan. Yeah. See, twenty three, thirty four. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was looking at the wrong one. I was like, we did this one time, Trevin. <laughs> one time we did it, and we had a really good conversation going on. And like, I don't know, probably like twenty five minutes in, Trebe's like, oh, we're not recording. Computer froze. We're not doing the crew cast this week. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you're like, man, dude, this conversation's flowing. I hope it's going. Good. You're like. Oh, oh no. God! It's been at twenty three minutes for twenty three minutes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's not how time works. Yeah, man. Dude, one thing that we're trying to set up for more towards probably like next spring, summertime, probably is we're trying to do uh, a little bit of a crew combine. So yeah, what I was just thinking, just the second we could do our Always crew, same we could do the crew combine. And then a few weeks later, we could do the Crew Olympics, 
So that the combine kind of be like the seeding kind the pre, of thing, the prelims. Yeah. Oh, the seeding. So who's the top top guy, and then you can just well, start... like for certain events. Well, obviously. yeah. Well, so like the, the crew, the crew Olympics, we're gonna go one v one in events. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So, so the freaking combine is gonna dictate what seed you are in certain events. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Because like in it. the combine, I don't think we're gonna do fucking like how many hot dogs you can eat in ten minutes. That's going to be an Olympics event. That is an Olympics yeah, event. True. But you've got to be training for that I'll be all year training. long. Make sure if you are this deep into the crew cast, we love you. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. But also, smash if the like button. You are this deep, comment down below some crew Olympics ideas. I'll also start shouting those out during my Jags videos. Yeah, we need event yeah. ideas, we need combine ideas. Because we're, I don't think any of us can even do one rep of 220. No. <laughs> I think I could do a, a good squat. Well, that's I a, don't think I, I could. We need, to do some, we need to do some sort of lifting. Yeah, well, obviously. Just the bar, though. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, for me. Dude, 100 that's, pounds that's, at most. That, I, don't, I could do maybe like two reps. I don't, I know. don't even I've, know, man. I've never lifted before. I've lifted. I was in one lifting class, and that's... My, I was yeah, only in it. racket sports and outdoor rec. Yeah, in high and we were dominant. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that that's gonna have to be a, pickleball, a, an Olympic event. We could do pickleball and badminton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna have to. And are we gonna have washers. badminton duos and badminton singles? solos? We have to. Yeah, yeah, we have to. That's. Dude, it's gonna be ah, God. I need to get Adobe Premiere by that time so I can have some fancy editing, like have like a ticker at the bottom that mm -hmm. like has continuously shows <laughs> the stats. Ah, uh, dude, that'd I be could, dope. Uh, dude, I want to go all in for this because I think I think that'd be fun. Yeah, this we is gotta cool like that we just got the setup. We, we gotta hire some. Uh, yeah. We gotta hire a few people with like some cameras. So well, like, I have so we can do different events at the same time so True. like we could do a round of disc golf you know at sunset and then like someone could be videotaping us doing pickleball and yeah. up on the top course yeah. or something it could be here's what's going on over here we 1v1 have... basketball <laughs> and all the dunk <laughs> contests who's, who's all... ever not in an event at the time has to be has recording has to be the announcer <laughs> yes, and recording somebody has to be that's oh we're going live here this is Austin versus Colton not the pickleball court. <laughs> sending it in, dude. That yeah, we we gotta we're gonna set out the outline. All of, like literally almost all of our best ideas happen when we start doing the crew cast. That's what I'm saying. Like as soon as the mic gets hot, we start fucking yeah, thinking. Dude, of like I kind of want to start writing these down, like because we gotta uh, do holy board, we gotta do the badminton, pickleball, disc golf. Corn we can do a we should do a dunking competition at McGee. Yeah, yeah, because they have a dunk contest. Yeah. We, none of us can dunk on a regular hoop, but oh, at, no, at, no. at one of the elementary schools, they have like six foot hoops. We could all dunk on those bad boys. All right, time, time out for a second. So, hey, do you know where that your pad is? That yeah. You're right? All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, non sponsored, and we're going to start writing down all the oh. crew Olympics and all the crew prelim event ideas. Thank you guys right. so much for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of this podcast. <laughs> my, my pops has a can usually. Your dad? Yeah. What kinds? Of well, I guess not, I guess not of chaw, but he has like fucking like those Zen pouches. Mm -hmm. Dude, I try. I just can't do it. Like Zen pouches, even? Yeah, dude, people... It's just sugar and nicotine. I know, people always say, like, they like the burn of it, but, dude, I hate it. I hate the burn so much from dipping, dude. Mm. I can't do it. It's Bits, good. what's your... Are you ever dip? You ever put in the No, job? no. <laughs> you never put in the no. job? I'm trying to, uh... I will never chew, because my dad does. I'm just trying to, like, cut down on the vaping. It's because I mean, just like just in general, putting something into your lung doesn't have positive effects always, you know. Well, never does. Bro. No, never does. No, no, nothing other than like the air, basically. Yeah. yeah. Not even like air is just because yeah, pollution. Yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> pollution <laughs> still. Tough, tough, tough other, luck. Than, other than like <laughs> that's oxygen. healthy for you. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I think oxygen is has like. A little bit of like something that's not good for humans. And that's the only reason we don't live forever. That's because there's like jellyfish. There's <laughs> jellyfish, and there's like this shark I saw a picture on Facebook that's been alive since yeah, it was like the 1600s. It was like 400 some years. Yeah, 
And like there's a shark. It's be it's still I don't living. know because it's like in the cold like uh what ocean is that? Not the cold one. <laughs> the cold it, it's one? not it's not called the Antarctic or the the, the uh, Arctic, is it? Oh, I feel yeah, so there. dumb for saying this on the podcast. I don't even know. I don't know. But whatever most, most one is, don't listen to this whatever one about. is, either the North or South Pole. I feel like that's a different ocean. I don't know, but like that, that shark lives there. Yeah, and like it's just hella cold. Yeah, and, it's and like, there's no pollution. There's no yeah. nothing really horrible out there, and that's why I think those bad boys live forever. But I mean, in all reality, as a human, would you want to live 450 years? Oh yeah, I would not. Well, well because 450. Okay. Because I'm saying there's a little bit of toxic, to- or just a little bit of like poison or some in just oxygen itself. Yeah, that makes us, you know, end up dying. That's why our so organs end up failing. And... That in this scenario, or whatever. That you would be living 450 good years. Mm-hmm. Like you're just healthy so, and all get out. So, yeah. well, That's the second well, time. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I had to do it on pot. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, like, because there's like 80 year olds that are in shape and like will work yeah. out and stuff because they take really good care of their bodies. I wish but I I'm had just that saying, drive. Like, I think, like, if, I don't know, it's just a theory. <laughs> I could be wrong. Scientists could have already proved me wrong. I don't know. They're smarter than us. I'm not as... I don't know. I think I'm the smartest man alive. I'm literally a sports journalist. <laughs> that's, that's literally what I am, you know? Like, that's why I tell people I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I can ride all right, and I'm kind of an entertainer. So I kind of got yeah. that me. Entertaining but, here on Treep Talks. Shouts out, we're about Shouts out the tree half talks. an hour in. Last time we almost went an hour, dude. I was yeah. shocked. That was a good, that was yeah. a good little bowl session. That mm-hmm. was like that was the episode where we're like, dude, we have nothing to fucking talk yeah. about today. <laughs> we and then we're like, we're just going to rank all of our pets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here on Tree Talks, if you listen to the crew cast, and especially if you listen this far into the crew cast, you get to get in on exclusive knowledge that no one else knows about. Because it won't be promoted until a month beforehand. <laughs> We're here to talk about the Crew Olympics. We're here to talk about the Crew Prelims. What were we? The Crew Combine. The crew Combine. You know, for seating purposes. Mm-hmm. It's going to be about a week of Anaheim. We haven't ironed out all the details, but in this podcast exclusively, we are going to be going over the events that will be held, and we're going to discuss some events that we think should. Be on the board, and as the OG3 of the crew, we are the judging community, or committee, I guess, judging yeah. committee, and we will be making all the executive decisions, because that is only fair. So, Fitz, what do you got What do you got down for the uh, crew combine so far? Well, I mean, here's the stuff that we've been talking about. We got badminton, singles, and duos. Well, this is more like Olympics. Yeah, combine is different. Combine, we're gonna do forty. We're gonna do. Yeah, let's talk. Do let's talk. Push ups, probably. Let's talk combine first. Combine. Okay, so we're gonna I do haven't... forty. We're gonna do push ups. We're gonna do a hands competition, most likely. I'm then... taking notes. Yeah, I got that. I got <laughs> well, I mean, well, that's 40. just combine. That's just yeah. stuff yeah, that's in the 40s. combine. You can try and then, like combine. for the strength, I mean, we could do push ups or benching, bench press. If you want to do squats. Dude, I think we should do squats. I think squatting should yeah. be should be one of the events. I think those are about the only lifts that I'm willing to do. Yeah. I'm thinking that now. What's your guys' strategy heading into this? Are the you combine? are you guys gonna be going into this raw as fuck? Like, are you just going to not even put in any like work in the off season, or are you gonna like just show up in April? ready to go because you've been training since November. Oh, dude, I'm just going to show up how I, like, probably am right now. Yeah, dude, I'm showing up raw as fuck. Dude, raw. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to try I'm to... I'm not going to do much. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm what gonna... I'm saying. I'm excited. I'm going to maybe jog a little bit, maybe get some <laughs> endurance up, but that's I will. I will for the Olympic, the Crew Olympics. I'm not going to get too The Crew Olympics, we got to, yeah. the Combine. The Combine, I'm thinking the Combine, a good date for the Combine would be like April. Yeah. And then the crew, 
Crew Olympics. Remember all the draft time with April? Remember all the, when they're running the combine? Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> That'd be great clickbait. Yeah, exactly. Clickbait. Combine, all caps, and like the first thing that Six pops fat up. Fat white dudes. From the combine. <laughs> and Arturo. And Arturo. Arturo and James. <laughs> Jameson still qualifies as a fat white person. Yeah. And I think, but okay, but here's the thing too: Ty is not going to be in town for the combine. He's going to be in town for the Olympics. Well, That's yeah, fine. he's only going to be in so town he for won't, one. He won't. He'll be raw, raw than any of us. Dude, but he also in. might be in shape because you know you got to be in shape to climb, to climb them poles, poles, bro. That's true. I'm excited to have Ty on the. I'm excited to have Ty, Ty on the pod. I'm excited yeah. to have Ty for the Crew Olympics. I'm, I'm excited, excited just to, to see him. him. Yeah, he's a guy. <laughs> you know, I'm Love I'm Ty. really excited. This this Crew Olympics. You know, I'm hoping you guys enjoy it, but you know, I'm really hoping that since we this is thing basically kind of just for us. We're gonna what? videotape it, try to make it as good as we can. Like. I love these boys. Mm. Like this yeah. is my this these is, are my dogs. These are my <laughs> family. That's dude. what like, I told Cole yesterday. I was like, "You guys are not just you know my best friends. You guys are my family. Like that's it's extended. Yeah. This is, mm-hmm. Like your like your mom. She's yeah. my family. Like yeah. just people exactly. from your guys' groups. Mm-hmm. That's all family, dude. That's why I said yeah. We roll deep. Like we're. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, though, is, like, the Crew Olympics and the Crew Combine and, like, the, basically the Crew Cast, too. Like, I do this because, like, down the line, if we ever, like, don't be friends or whatever, we have to have. We got but that's memories. never going to fucking happen. Yeah, but, you know, and I just didn't want to get real dark and say, like, we <laughs> died or something. Yeah. So, you know, so I was just like, let's go this route. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Crew Combine. We're talking 40s. We're talking strengths. Strength, said that again. I think we should do some football agility stuff. Yeah. I think we should do some throwing. I think we should do some catching. I get my cannon prepared again. <laughs> I'm hitting gonna... on all passes, dude. I'm gonna have the best passing numbers, and oh, then we yeah. gotta fig- and then we gotta figure out what well, the crew right. Olympics. You're gonna have the best passing numbers when I'm your receiver. I think I'm gonna have the best. Uh, dude, I don't 40. know. Me and Colton, when we were in tune, like on the streak. <laughs> the that's true dude me and Colt dude, dude back in the day when we just at, hang at, out my, at my old house it didn't matter it could be 100 degrees it could be 10 Snow degrees <laughs> yeah. we did it in the snow Plenty of times. Oh, yeah. It didn't matter how cold it was. We would always go out for a few routes at least. Yeah, every at least. It was every night we would. Yeah. I remember this the specific one right here is when it was hella snow and it was just like right after. Yeah. And you guys... Wanted me to dive for the ball. <laughs> we so, were fucking with you, yeah. dude. So I was like, we you gotta... know what? If you give me a good enough one, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, Cold threw me a dot. So I just a perfect one that you full, could dive for. Yeah, I just went full, full, extension. full extension into white snow. And just yeah. boom! Yeah, really, really it was it. perfect. And of course I caught it. Of course! <laughs> Not see, the thing is, is if you see Fitz, like, you look at him, you're like, okay, well, I can beat this guy in a foot race. <laughs> but, but there's no way in hell you can beat Fitz in a foot race. And, and you can't, dude, Fitz is taken first at a lot of events. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's, there's, and the combine in, probably in the Olympics. Yeah, for sure. I'm it's trying to I'm trying to think of an Olympic event that would be like specifically something that none of us have ever done. Well, there's <laughs> but something that specifically is tailored to me, like that yeah. I could win because well, I want to fucking win one at least. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm, I'm are gonna win the throwing combine part. Are we gonna do like medals or like what are we gonna do? We have to do something. We got a we'll Patreon donate to the crew medal so we can get trophies. Yeah. <laughs> To get trophies, freaking get the little old uh, school participation trophies. Yes. But every time, just give out one of those. <laughs> dude, dude, we should like no s- medals for second or third place. We should, we should go into have fucking. Money. We should go into LHS and steal like the fucking first, <laughs> second, and third for place state <laughs> yeah. for like girl soccer yeah. or something. Yeah, and then we'll just put it in there for the crew Olympics so we can take a picture with the. We'll print out brackets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's good. We gotta be committed for this. That's why we're gonna dude. spend some money on this. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where's the meddling ceremony gonna be? Oh. We're gonna we're gonna have knows? to ask Austin if we can use his house. I don't know. 
We no, could no. You're Austin. Oh, uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta do my own place. Yeah, just that's... outside for a few minutes. And yeah, do the medals yeah. and just take them. Absolutely picks. for the throwback. Mm-hmm. That's that's where we'll do the med- the meddling honors. I like it. Right over there. We gotta uh, th- we gotta think. What's a, what's a what's an event that I would win? I'm not. I feel like I'm not better than you guys in anything. <laughs> <laughs> Except like. I think it's just because we're all so competitive. Yeah, <laughs> and we're all gonna. And I'm so like. It's eh. not even gonna matter if like. You try your hardest at something. We're gonna try our hardest. At yeah, it. And at everything. Every, and, and if you know, it's a toss up. Sometimes, sometimes we just have it's our. It's the day. grit, dude. And I was yeah. just thinking on our commercial break. I think that we could do one big game of five hundred. Oh. And then the, fir- then the first one to five hundred just wins. Who should be our guest thrower? Because the whole crew has to be competing. Oh, I don't know. We need to have some guest appearances. I don't, maybe like my dad or someone. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking your dad. Because Leslie has a pretty big backyard we could do that in. Or, you know, we can just go to any of the schools around here. Or, dude, we need to throw back for just a couple minutes. Your old yard. My old yard, yeah. We, you know. This one, we should reserve it. You know, <laughs> you know who should announce the meddling honors? Who? Raj. Oh, we gotta get Raj. We can talk to Raj. He's in. Not He's that insane. Yeah, that's what I'm he saying. He comes down every other weekend. That's what I'm saying. He needs to like. Does does the thank you for coming out to the crew ceremony? <laughs> does, does does the chat know about Raj? I don't think we haven't really talked much about Raj. Does the tribe know about Raj? I, I don't think the tribe Dude, knows much Raj, about Raj. Raj was a legend. He is a legend. He was a great guy. He was a clerk at a local gas station up here in the Orchards. It's, you know, the uptown of Lucen. Oh. And uh, we just got to be really good friends with him. Great friends, I'd say. You know, we're not going to say dude. anything that we shouldn't be saying on the internet about him. But he's uh, a great But he's an guy. amazing man back in our old heydays, you know. Yeah. Back when we were... Drinking every night and just having a good old grand time. Raj was, he was there. He was great. He was amazing. He was always a good sport. Oh. And then he moved because he had a disagreement with the owner of the gas station. He ended up moving to Spokane. Yep. Spokane? I think so. Yeah. Yep. But he told me he was moving to California. Yeah, same, dude. Just to be another clerk at another gas station. So, we can, get, so we can get closer to another group of friends. That's yeah, ho- hopefully, I hope that he has another group that he can call his own. Same, but he definitely, I definitely would love him to announce the awards. That the would awards be amazing. Center. That would be great. I would love it. That was good thinking on your feet there. Yeah, Raj, for that one. I'm trying to think of other background characters. Trey. I, I think I think Ian should ref every single event. Oh my god, Ian would be dope. Ian should ref every single event. And announce. Oh, no, dude. No, 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 I don't know about announce. I'm trying, I mean, he's got a good speaking I'm voice. Trying, I'm, trying, but... I'm trying to think of people that would be like alright to listen to talk. Yeah. And Ian, Ian's up there. like He has a good voice. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking... <clears throat> Who am I? Who am I thinking? Who's a good? I don't know. That's a, a toss up there. I'm trying to think of who's. Now would and someone who would do it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> would do it too. That would agree to do it with no pay. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's the biggest factor. I mean, I don't know. I almost would like Wyatt to do it. Dude, Wyatt would have. Wyatt has a good voice. I like it. He yeah. kind of do it like a WWE match too. Yeah. Kind of just get really excited over just things. Just get hyped, dude. dude. Yeah, I like that. He'll be all, he'll be a maybe part of even Jamin. Jamin and Wyatt, dude. That should dude, be that'd be a that's, really good that's announcing the crew. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler. And Jerry the Lawler, crew Lawler the dude. Crew that, that's a good. Yeah, I like how we're just setting this in stone. Like yeah. we're just trying to figure shit out. Well, nothing's set in stone well, I know, quite yet. I kind of like the. It's kind of this little. And everybody could compete in all the events. Just basically, probably like the main eight are going to be the only ones on camera. But 
<laughs> you could be on a chase card or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, you could be on a chase card, but we definitely have jobs for you, and we want you involved. Yeah, we need we water would, boys, we need we towel would, boys, we, we need And everybody that is involved has to be significant. Like, yeah. I, I don't want no freaking has-been losers. No no-namers. Yeah, no no-namers. I want Ian to be the ref, I want Jamin, and I want Wyatt to be the announcers. To call out right now. Yeah, I want y'all. You guys bro. better watch this. You probably won't. But yeah, whatever. and if you are watching, you're definitely not 30 minutes deep into the no. episode. But if you are 30 minutes deep in the episode... Thank you very much. Patrick Jackson. I bet you Patrick Jackson's fucking this far. In the I episode. hope so. Does he live in Florida? No, nah, he lives in England. Oh, uh, dude, maybe he... He can do some announcing. Dude, we he has s- a good voice. We can send yeah, him. We can send him some clips. He's been on the pod. The, he's been on the <laughs> we can send him some chill. clips, and then he can do his voiceover and send it back. Yeah, exactly. That's not a bad idea, Patrick. This is a call out to you. Yeah, we're gonna have you do some. We, we're gonna need you to announce some badminton for us. Christopher Columbus, come to Idaho. Christopher, Cl- oh my God, come Christopher to Columbus and Jay Dang. This is your opportunity. <laughs> if you want to meet the one and only, only Tree Talk and the crew and the crew and his co-host, the crew, yeah. you need to come to Idaho in April. Just take that whole month off. Yeah, for real. You know what? Come on over. We'll house you. We'll feed you. You know, we'll take we'll, care of you. We'll take care of you. You know, just as long as well. Let's see what we use them for. They y'all can be uh, everything else. Y'all can be. Cameraman. Yeah, cameraman. We need cameraman. some camera people. Or we could have a, we could have them be the crowd on the side for like some for like the golf claps. Oh, that's yeah. what, dude. Oh, we need people. We golf. need we need people in the crowd. Oh, so all you needs... has been no namers. We need you too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need you. Bad. No, dude. We no. need a crowd. We, we still need the crowd to be pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Just some guys out we there. We need Amber there. We, Amber we needs need, to be we in need the crowd. Anyone that's ever been over to my house or any kind of parties ever just anything everybody and you come and you watch and you be a part of history because this is going to be this is going to be groundbreaking this is what's gonna lift us up this is what's gonna take tree talks to the next level the crew olympics in april and it's it's we're gonna make promo videos we're gonna spend a lot of money on this (laughs) thousands we're banking I'm going to spend my whole savings account. We're banking on success. <laughs> All $27 of it. We're banking on success. And we're here to compete and be athletes. This is good, dude. Yeah, write that down, Bryce. <laughs> we're, here to be, we're here to compete <laughs> and be athletes. You got to give Bryce a minute because he's lefty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I write a little bit slower. But my handwriting is fucking great. It <laughs> is, it is. So don't it's top notch. If we had a handwriting competition, in the I would lose. Olympics, I would lose too. I think you would probably still be ahead of me. I have some chicken scratch. The only person I've seen that has worse handwriting than you is Trey. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Trey has such shit handwriting, dude. I don't even care. I saw Trey this morning, dude. It was almost like it was almost like I was going back to freaking elementary school because my mom my mom was going to Spokane to go take her test that she passed. Shout out to Susan. Susan, she Susan passed. Valley. She fucking passed, and she went to Spokane and. She picked, they picked me up for fucking work today. My dad was driving. My mom was in the front seat, and Trey was in the back seat. And I was like, Jesus, this is a whole fucking family <laughs> whole trip. <crew. laughs> You're like, can we just drive by orchards? <laughs> yeah, I was like, can we just go by orchard just for the nostalgia one time, please? Let me let me go in the class. Run over Trey's foot, dude. Freaking, my dad ran Sorry. over Trey's foot in the fourth grade. Really? <laughs> yeah, literally. My dad was like about to back out, and my and Trey was still fucking like <laughs> by the tire, and, and my dad puts it in reverse and just runs right over his foot, and Trey just goes, "Oh, fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> like fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I can see Trey. You probably have the What's exact same great? voice, too. Uh, but yeah, still yeah. deep. <laughs> yeah. Still real deep. Dude, he needs to be involved. I would love for him to be an announcer. Did you guys like my comment from the, the, the video? You guys Did you like how I tagged Trey in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I was like, Trey, you gonna take that? 
<laughs> and he's probably just gonna like my comment. Trey yeah, doesn't he give probably a will. fuck. He'll probably, Dude, Trey he'll probably laugh at my comment. Doesn't give any fucks at all. No, <laughs> Trey. He's, he's a legend. My brother's You'll a legend. He'll be in the crowd. Oh, yeah. Dude, I think I've had him on. I had him on, but it was a long time ago. Like, 400 subscribers. Like, he was on, like, my picks. Oh, yeah. Like, like week Two three of last year. Oh, last year? So, I changed the the crowd is now the No Namers plus Trey. <laughs> Trey's the leader of the No Namers. Yeah. Trey's in the front row controlling the crowd. Yep. Yeah. Trey's setting the he, pace. He, he, like, in, <laughs> He's like, the start of the wave or something. <laughs> or like in golf when they have the signs that say quiet, please. Yeah. He'll hold that Stop. up. <laughs> and then we'll go. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I love Trey. Oh, that's great. Uh, I don't. I don't talk to Trey enough. I bear. I've seen him like once, just like going into like a one. I'm just like a throwback. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> Trey. <laughs> just nice to see. Dude, yeah. Every time I see him, he asks me the same three questions. I was Wyatt. I was Garrett. Never asks how you are. <laughs> <laughs> he only asked how white and Garrett are. I'm like, what the fuck, Trey? That's weird. All right. So what? What other? What other no- notes you got jot down there, Fitz? Oh, I just have the elite group of, <laughs> of our refs, our announcers, our metal metal guy. Uh, yeah. And then and then the no namers plus Trey. But <sighs> we'll probably have some other people that aren't no namers. Oh yeah. They're, I'm they're honestly, in that category that, at this point, dude. If I pitched in a couple of bucks, I could probably get a pretty funny cameo. Yeah, why? I'd probably get Keith Havens to fucking oh, dude. cameo on the Just screen. to do one announcement. Yeah. <laughs> We're here live. Yes, dude. <laughs> Keith, <laughs> Keith Havens from Shrimp Talks. Dude, his, <laughs> con- dude, his contract's almost up, dude. <laughs> oh, we should sign him to a contract. <laughs> we should sign him uh, to a contract. If you guys don't know who Keith Havens is, if you're tuning in from Florida or England... Keith <laughs> is the local weatherman. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. Me and him used to pound Pepsis in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my favorite story you told me about him was, he was like, Trevor, you do a really good job. And he goes to shake your hand and his hand's just soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> that I, fucking I, pissed me off so bad. I've, just, I've probably done that to like five different people now. I think that's just so, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> or like you're trying to ask him for life advice and he's like you should just live in one of those tiny houses <laughs> yeah. I love it <laughs> sounds like a great guy he's, he is. He's, he's good oh god Keith yeah we definitely need to find him he needs to like announce the frisbee golf or something yeah dude that'd be cool we could do like how Jomez does it Dude, if Armin's we just, not out of town, we could have Armin do something. Just some send him the coverage. link, dude. Yeah. Just send him and then just tell him to do a commentary over it. Layers Colton with the drive. Looks like <laughs> about a 342 footer. We're here live at Sunset Yeah. <laughs> the elite group. Well, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think... How many competitors are we going to have? Because are you counting on Mike to participate? Because I don't think Mike will some participate. Of them. I you think might... you'll participate with a few. That's what I'm saying. I, I guess we, everybody... we don't the beer related. We don't activities. have to. We don't have to peer pressure everybody into. And I think that's another thing with doing like, everyone that the group, the our audience needs to know is like that's how it's going to be. Is some people are going to sit out of events and some people are going to go. Yeah, I'm going to try and do all of them. I'm going to try to do as many as I can, dude. Like unless they're ridiculous, I. I'm kind of swore off drinking for a while, but I'll definitely throw down some beers for the fucking crew limit. Well, be, oh, yeah. That'll be easy. Just don't drink until then. Yeah, <laughs> just throw it. But, dude, then that would fuck me in the competition. Yeah, because you'll be oh, hammered. But, yeah, I'll be hammered live on Troob Talks, and that, that won't be good true. for anybody. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and then that won't be good for anybody. And then we gotta have like a dope ass fireworks display afterwards. Yes, dude, we can make like a bunch of sparkler bombs. Yeah. I sent a bunch of pictures to the crew chat on Snapchat today, and I had some from last Fourth of July, and we made like three or four sparkler bombs. Mm-hmm. And they're just insane. Did you see it on my yeah. story? Yeah. Absolutely insane amount of explosion in like one second. 
That's it's pretty crazy. cool. It's crazy. It's super crazy. You feel it in your chest. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah for that's... one of them. Uh huh. Fuck. <laughs> we gotta we gotta throw in some like stupid games that we used to play into the Crew Olympics. Like uh, fudge ball. Fudge yes. ball. Did yeah. I have a mega ball? But Wait, where, what? I have a uh, yoga ball. Yeah, mega. The... But where would we? play we don't have a basement to play in we could play from one end of my hallway to the other in here <laughs> yeah. oh my god dude or we could even have it set up in like a yard just have boundaries yeah. and just oh god go dude. Just, just, the... <laughs> like each end zone. Yeah, just, just like... hitting ground dude dude i remember one of the most intense fudge ball games ever was jared dykes and uh, dakota yeah. Dakota, I love how you're who worried also about, needs to be featured. I love how you're worried about hitting ground even though we used to hit concrete. <laughs> Bryce would smack his head every single <laughs> yeah, time. <dude. laughs> every time. We're like, that was back when I you had, had braces. I probably had like six mild concussions. <laughs> I, I never went and got checked out. But yeah, and like you would freaking deal. always hit your freaking teeth when you had braces. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. And I'd bleed because it would like hit my gums. I would always would hit you hard. Open. Oh, yeah, you'd smack your head on the total concrete floor yeah. or wall. But that happened to all of us, too. Oh, like yeah. Getting, oh, yeah. Hitting the ground, like our knee getting fucked up. <laughs> we used to mess each other up. Uh-huh. Dude, uh, kinda, we uh-huh. kind of have to fight. Like, yeah. That, that kind of has to be an event. Has to just, like, fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we kind of... Fight like, event. Dakota got lucky. I almost had it. Yeah, <laughs> there's going to be a grappling and a boxing. Yeah. I am not going to participate in the boxing. I'll participate in boxing. Oh, come on, Tree. Let me throw some body balls. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like I, the old days. I ain't participating. One rip shot. Dude, dude Trey's going to participate in the no, boxing. No, shit. Dude. Is he going to be, like, knocking people out? Dude, he's, he's, he's fucking hit like he this. He throws these, yeah. man. <laughs> There's this wild haymakers yeah. that just knock people the fuck out. Dude, there used to be this bad motherfucker that used to come over to Bryce's house named Cyrus. And <laughs> <laughs> Are you messing with me right now? Because no. that's, yeah. that's off of Trailer Park Boys. I, yeah, I know, but that was his name. And he's a bigger kid, and he and Trey boxed one day. Oh, dude, and Trey shot him the fuck Trey up. Did, Trey did this, you yeah. know? And it, he started fucking playing out of that. Cyrus? Yeah. yeah. His, his, mom, his mom, like, took him to the hospital. <laughs> no <laughs> way! Know? It wasn't, like, that bad, but, like, he wanted to go. So, like, they went, and, like, Trey just <laughs> throwing his haymakers. Trey fucked, fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. Oh, oh my god, what dude, was this? Dude, was great. that was, like, peak was fourth so grade long. performance. Oh, uh, dude, we got, you know, a good cameo? Who? Travis. Oh my god, if we can bail him out of jail, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where he's at? No way, where at? At the end of my street. Oh, really? Yeah. He doesn't like live down there anymore, but apparently the people that moved into his like grandma's house, yeah. he knows. So he hangs out. Do you there. know Travis's last name? No. Damn, dude. I, I want to look him up on Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but there's like this guy who doesn't have reverse, and every time he comes at the roundabout, my dad like parks right there, so he can't get around. Mm-hmm. So I have to go out there and help him sometimes. <laughs> I went out there, and it was Travis, growing up Travis. It was like Jesus. That's Christ. crazy because when we first met him, he was like in the sixth grade, I think. Yeah, it yeah. was in the sixth grade. Because he was like, yeah, I'm gonna do wrestling. He's, next he's year. a little bit taller, but mm-hmm. he's just scrawny now. Kinda. He's scrawny. He's, he's not big. He's not really. He used to be a bigger kid back yeah, in the no, day. No, he's not really. What grade would he be in now? Because that was like when we were sophomores. It was literally like our first hemp fest. So like junior, senior. So that was like four years ago. So well, he's probably graduated by 13, now. 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. Though. Oh, really? So he's how old we were when we met him. Yeah, that's Damn. not. Damn. That, Travis. Nah, we need him. Maybe Throwback. he can compete. Maybe he can compete in some events. No. <laughs> yeah, no, he's good. Well, yeah, because we'll only have, like, the OGs. Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we obviously, if we're going to go all out, we might as well go all out and have a crew game. And if Arturo's losing all this weight, he's going to be I know, dude. I'm sneaky. proud of him. I'm proud of him. He's going to be sneaky in the crew Olympics. Well, yeah, we're going to have to do some sort of basketball event, too, because yeah. Jamie's going to go off. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Jamie basically Jamie. has it on rap. Yeah. 
Except the dunk contest, dude. I dunk on Jameson. Oh, dude. I already know what I'm going to do for my dunk. I don't have hops. I'm probably going to still hit the rim. <laughs> <laughs> on the six foot hoop. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to record fucking Bryce dunk. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fall on his head. I'm going to hit my head right off the rim. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to that's gonna do it for the crew cast. That was probably that was an hour one, I think. Yeah. Probably. I just kept BSing. Anyway, y'all, thank you guys so much for tuning into the crew cast. As always, I think this is going to come out on a Friday night, actually, instead of Thursday night this week. So make sure, if you are watching this, to hit that subscribe button, click the like button. Make sure you do all that good stuff, boys. You share party... it on all of your social media platforms. Any parting words from you, boys? Goodbye. See you next week. Yeah.